I'm Stacy. Welcome to the kitchen of my old Kentucky home. Today on Bourbon and Biscuits, we're going to sweeten things up. We'll be making a traditional Kentucky candy and serving it with a dessert cocktail. Let's get started. We're making Kentucky Blue Mondays. Here's what we'll need. Three cups of sugar, one cup of water, one cup of heavy cream, a pinch of salt, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter cup of butter, and 10 ounces of melting chocolate. Okay, we are ready to make some Kentucky cream pull candy. We uh, have on the stove our three cups of sugar and we're just gonna pour in a, a cup of already boiling water and let this dissolve and bring this to a softball stage, which is about 250 and we're gonna need a candy thermometer in order to do that. So for our Blue Mondays, we're first going to make your basic Kentucky cream candy recipe. I've got the three cups of sugar in the pot with a cup of boiling water, and we're gonna bring that up to a softball stage of 250 before we move on to our next step. So our sugar, our syrup, is cooking on the stove, and as you can see, we're at about 230. We're not quite to that softball stage yet. We've been cooking this for about five minutes and it just really depends. It's all about the temperature. And I've read that um, the outside temperature can affect this, the humidity, the atmospheric conditions. So there's no set amount of time. We're just looking for that to get to 250 before we get to our next step, which is going to be adding the cream. Okay, we have finally reached our magic temperature of 250 for the softball stage. We're gonna remove our candy thermometer and we are going to take our cream. We're gonna drop our quarter teaspoon of baking soda directly into the cream and our pinch of salt, which is you know the closest thing if you wanna measure it, it would be I guess like an eighth of a teaspoon. We're gonna mix that around and then we're just going to pour this in about one tablespoon at a time because we don't want our boil uh, to be disrupted. So here we go with our first tablespoon. Okay, so we've still got a boil and we're just going to keep gradually adding this until it's all in. Okay, we've got our cream in, we've put the candy thermometer back in, and now we are looking for this to reach to the hardball stage, which is 260. And we're gonna also add a quarter cup of butter. Okay, while we are waiting for this to get back to 250 and then 260. Want to be careful not to scorch it, so I am going to stir it. We hadn't stirred it for a while. We're going to stir it and just make sure our heat is not too high. You can see it's starting to brown a little bit, and that's okay. We want it, it's, it's starting to caramel, basically. This project is best um, not done alone. It's best with a partner, so I have someone fetching me our marble slab that we're going to need that I've buttered. It's been out on the front porch in the cold. This is also uh, best done during the winter when you can do that. Uh, and they're gonna bring that so that I can take this very quickly when it reaches this 260, take it quickly off the stove to pour it out. Okay, this is a beautiful color. And we've got our prepared marble slab. I'm just gonna pour this out. All right, I can tell, I've just poured this out. I had a really cold marble and you can kind of start to touch the edges and see that it's setting up. This is gonna be really hot, um, but we've gotta do this uh, or we're gonna lose it. So I'm gonna bring in a partner. Jessica's gonna join me. We're gonna get our hands real good and buttered. All right. <laughs> and then we're just gonna kind of start, remember, um, just kind of pull up the corners and see how that feels. You can keep that there. You gotta work oh, yeah. with this fast. Yeah, that feels good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Too oh yeah. We uh, have practiced this a couple of times now. Um, this looks like the most successful to date. Okay, I think it's ready. Don't you feel like you can lift yours? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna give you half. Okay. Is that enough? I'll take half over here. And the reason this is called a creamed pull candy is we are actually gonna start pulling this. 
now at the Rebecca Ruth Candy Factory and Mrs. Blakeman's, they actually have a, a hook that pulls this now by machine, but back in the day, they did this all by hand, just like this, and sometimes they had partners. It's the old-fashioned candy pull yeah. of the past. So we're gonna twist this into a long roll here. We'll add that to that. I like the way this looks. That's kind of how we did it the yeah. one time. Okay, and then I've got a pair of scissors, and I'm just gonna come in and start cutting this and you can do any size you want. This is kind of the ones that I see in the like Rebecca Ruth. I'm gonna let these set up. I'm going to keep pulling and cutting and we're gonna let these set up while Jessica gets cleaned up and you're gonna make us what? I'm gonna be making a black satin Manhattan. Good because I can- A little can, easier than this. <laughs> I can use a drink. Today we're gonna to be making a nice dessert cocktail called a black silk Manhattan. What makes it different than a traditional Manhattan is that we are swapping out the sweet vermouth with this Averna, which is an Italian liqueur that's a little bit bittersweet and it actually is sweeter than the sweet vermouth. So we're also using bourbon, chocolate bitters, orange bitters, and some brandy preserved cherries just for a garnish. So what we're gonna do is in our cocktail glass here, we're gonna use two ounces of bourbon. And then we're going to do one ounce of the Averna. And then we're just going to do a couple dashes each of the chocolate and orange bitters. And then we're going to give this a um, nice stir with our ice here to get everything chilled and just a little bit diluted. That looks good. And then simply just going to strain this into our coupe glass. So it would look nice in a martini glass too. And I just garnish it with one of these Copper and King's cherries. And that's it. Pretty simple cocktail. Our riff on a Manhattan is a black silk Manhattan. So Jessica, I can't think of an episode since Burgoo that was as much work as mm -hmm. this and caused me to need a drink. <laughs> I would agree with that right? completely, yeah. <laughs> because we're not even done with the batch that we just showed you. Uh, they are setting up, they're gonna cool overnight, they're gonna puff up just a little bit, and then we're gonna dip them in chocolate, mm -hmm. right? This is from a previous batch, and there are two different things really that we showed. Um, one is making just a simple Huh, simple is a <laughs> funny term, uh, but a basic cream pull candy. And that tradition goes back, gosh, almost 200 years. It was one of those um, recipes from that, one of those first cookbooks that, that I have. And uh, it wasn't until later in the early 1900s that the actual term Blue Monday. So it was actually Ruth Hunt, the candy maker. There are several candy makers that made the cream pull candy and somebody had the idea to dip into the chocolate. But Ruth Hunt, um, one of her customers, was a traveling minister, according to legend, and she was asking him uh, about why he liked the candy, and he said because it cured his Blue Mondays. So I guess she thought that was that a cute name for it, and so cute. now they're known uh, throughout the state like that. And um, that is a tip for you because of the work involved um, and the temperamental nature. Yes, yep. it can be a little frustrating. <laughs> um, so if you don't want to make them at home or call us, not that we're experts by any stretch of the imagination, uh, Rebecca Ruth, uh, Ruth Hunt, Mom Blakeman out of Lancaster, Kentucky, we'll put some of the um, places that you can buy them uh, online at the end of the episode. Well, and the cocktail was um, much simpler, and so that would be an easy one to make at home. <laughs> well, cheers to another uh, stimulating episode. We'll see you next time on Bourbon and Biscuits. Cheers. cheers.